My name is Rochelle Mares. I'm from Barbados and I'm the CEO of Mares Media Inc. Mares Media Inc. is a um, production company. We deal with everything audiovisual, whether it be from TV commercials to music videos to TV series um, and documentaries. We tend to work along with a lot of corporate agencies and uh, just being able to tell a story. The key is telling a story, not just making it look glossy or nice, but to make sure that the client is getting the message that they want to convey to the audience. Is my company or profession artistic? I think so because it's about creating and um, art is relative. When you lend your interpretation to a, a particular shot or an angle, that is a creative expression. The role of the visual arts in society today, especially my profession, is, is crucial. Coming from the Caribbean as well, there's a lot more people who are focused on animation and bringing a sense of the Caribbean through the colors that they're using in the productions. Also, besides digital art, you're looking at um, Realism. I mean, Caribbean is very, very unique from its infrastructure to its landscapes. And when photographing or filming in the Caribbean, that is an artistic approach because I'll give you an example. I did a music video and I had an, an artist in front of a channel house, which is very specific to Barbados. And that is an artistic expression because I'm conveying culture through that visual. The popular images that are seen frequently within the industry, the works of Monet, Leonardo da Vinci, all these great, great artists. You're not really seeing as much influence in film when you're dealing with realism, but if you look at certain period pieces, like for instance, Jane Eyre, immediately Mona Lisa comes to mind. It's very enigmatic, it's muted in color, um, lighting sometimes high contrast, but yet soft and very mysterious. And clearly, even from the poster, it reminds me of something very Da Vinci. If you look at Marina Abramovich and her work, what she did influenced Jay-Z. And you could see it in the music video Picasso Baby. So as Da Vinci would have influenced Jane Eyre, so has modern day artists uh, influenced the works and the audiovisual that we see in, um, in pop culture. When I produced uh, a music video called Happy Heart with Itana, it's a, she's a reggae artist, Itana, we went back to, um, I think it was the 17th century, we decided to go back to and our, our colonial times in the Caribbean. So we had a colonial house in the background, it's Devon House, which is, is in Jamaica, and their clothes, uh, beautiful big dresses and lovely colors, very bright, and, and we tried to capture that era. And we went back in researching we went back to to the to paintings of the time to 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 images to wardrobe of the time all that and all of that is art and we let that influence and guide how we shot the the, the music video I'm a big fan of classical visual art that's what I love and that's what I would like to portray when I'm doing my films my exposure to, to famous artwork has influenced my creative process because if I look at art with beautiful landscapes, um, art that captures the essence of a person, the, the type of art that when you look at it, it makes you just think, it makes you wonder who is that person, what's the story behind them, or if you look at a landscape um, painting or a photo, you wonder where is that, I wish I was there, what happens there? And I want that when people watch what I do, they're drawn in to that image like I am when I, when I for instance, I look at the, the Mona Lisa or the painting of The Last Supper, you know, art that deals specifically with beauty and really capturing people or humanity. That's what influences how I want to tell a story and the art that I want to share with the world.